sorry about the sorry about the noise guys hey hello guys uh, I know that I make uh, complicated layouts but please uh, I'm not expert uh, I already share the file but uh, keep in mind that this is uh, designed for a lateral MOSFET and no vertical MOSFET so as you can see uh, the lead orientation is to totally different so make sure that if you, if you purchase the the, the MOSFET is gate, the first lead is gate, source and drain so keep that in mind that's why I place a lot of information on the on the on the data that I share right now here is the personal file that I share but please uh, uh, before you committed to build this amplify uh, do some researches and read uh, uh, about uh, you know bias adjustment I was reading on the book that uh, for bias amplifier uh, you will adjust it to about 30 30 millivolts across one of the re uh, source uh, resistor right now here I have the I have the layout this is not the actual layout that you're gonna uh, etch it this is just an example that how it's gonna look like we you put it all together it should look like this let me show you I had the image it should look something like this as you can see this is a separate uh, PCB and uh, you can see the leads orientation here is as you can see on this semiconductor this MOSFET is gate source and drain not like the uh, the other uh, semiconductors is totally different so this is the Oh, this is the output power board as you can see here and uh, we have the this is the driver board this is a different version because I made it a little bit larger so you can uh, you can uh, make holes for the screws the corner of the of the PCB so right now uh, this is uh, really important this uh, the this uh, uh, pot pot one trim pot this one P1 offset the only thing you gotta do uh, before the initial test is adjust it to midpoint midpoint then and this one here you will adjust it to a maximum resistance and before you power up uh, power up the amplifier with the light bulb just just to make sure you don't have errors on your on your circuit so I I, I check it for so so many times that I think it's, it's, it's good to go but also uh, help check the file check the layout and compare with the original schematic I have the the schematic is on page uh, 362 so right now I'm going to show you that it's totally different uh, okay as you can see this is the actual uh, schematic uh, on page 3 and page 362 and it's recommended to be using this type of uh, semiconductors as you can see Q9, Q11, Q13, Q15, Q17 and Q19 those are 2SK 1058 so these are these devices right here you can see Q9 Q11 Q13 Q15 Q17 and Q19 are those uh, these devices uh, Q10 Q12 Q14 Q16 Q18 and Q20 those are 2SJ162 these are these devices right here so on the simulation this is another thing that I'm doing right now so on the simulation I'm using the different uh, different MOSFET but uh, these are not really recommended for audio applications for linear audio applications so I, I'm, I'm only using this to uh, simulate the circuit but I do not have the correct uh, uh, component to simulate on the on the on the on the simulation these are devices that are correct and you can see I just type it down so it responds really well I mean on the simulation I, I was able to just adjust it uh, to get a really, a really low a uh, THD right now uh, here on the to explain you to explain you uh, guys better I add a, a rails a circuit uh, to protect the IPS driver board and there's some minor adjustment this R13 on the let me let me show you guys real quick so just to be sure that you guys okay uh, this resistor here since I adding a rail uh, controller voltage 
R13 you can change it to 130 ohms this one here and just to bet to get better uh, bias adjustment and R17 you will adjust it to to uh, 130 ohms so this resistor you gotta change it because on the on the power board I add that circuit so this will feed the the driver board you can see this is the output of the you can see it will feed that I don't think I I did I did not change it here I, let me see I got R13 still the same value but I think you, you can adjust it you can change it to 130 ohms uh, so you you'll be able to adjust the bias correctly uh, uh, right now the last because since this is a different uh, semiconductor uh, the, the result that I have here is totally different so it's not gonna be the same I wish I had the correct uh, semiconductor so I can have a, a correct uh, bias uh, approximation like this uh, 2SK uh, 1050A and 2, 2SJ162 so uh, be aware of that so it's gonna be a little bit different so this one I'll, at least it will have a uh, this circuit the rail circuit it will keep a uh, constant voltage a steady voltage to feed the IPS driver board I'm going to show you right now I'm going to uh, show you uh, the this window so I will turn on the simulation so you will see the voltage on the this is the positive rail right now that I'm simulating okay so to show you the voltage so I, go, I turn on the simulation and you can see the BD uh, voltage DC it will keep a steady 80 to 82.4 volts steady for to feed the the IPS same will be will happen to the negative rail right here I'm going to show you right now so negative rail is right here uh, right here sorry about that so right here and uh, let's turn on the the simulation so you will see a negative uh, 82.4 volts a constant a clean voltage from the rail supply so that's why I add uh, this circuit to the as you can see it's, it's not many components is this a uh, transistor you can use a uh, MJ E340 you will use a simple diode, one N914, uh, one resistor, uh, uh, a few resistors, 470 ohms, R28, R29 is 22K. Uh, you will use uh, two more filter, uh, fil a large filter is 470 microfarad, uh, 100 volts capacitor. And then the last uh, uh, filter will be the this 22 microfarad capacitor with is in parallel to a 22 nanofarad of uh, film capacitor just to feed this uh, IPS uh, same will be, will happen on the rail uh, negative rail the same circuit that you can see you will use a MJ uh, 350 a few resistors like same as the other uh, positive rail and, and same, and same filtering to feed the rail uh, I did it that way so it will have a uh, a safe clean voltage to feed the this uh, IPS uh, driver board so I also add uh, this this negative feedback the, this this uh, this PCB will be just fine don't worry I had the PDF but it will work just fine don't worry about that because uh, you can actually solder the wire here uh, for the negative feedback or you can either just you know just place it here on the terminal a, uh, a European type terminal so that's it so I just wanted to make a, a video to uh, clarify that the please you do not use the this uh, devices on this design they are not actually designed for uh, audio application the IRFP 240 and the IRFP 9240 I, I have seen uh, some people building uh, amplifier with these uh, devices but they are not designed for audio applications so that's why I recommended the original uh, 2SK 1050A and the 2SJ 162 also you can use Exicons uh, there is another uh, semiconductor that you can actually use these are the Exicons uh, these are designed for audio applications you can see they are right here uh, we have this one is uh, I think they have the information down here 250 okay we got the positive the end channel no, this is to3 to3 now this is a different device so that's a that's not a bad idea 
Wow. Okay. So we have these devices. Let me see. 247 Exicon 125 watts. This one, these devices are 250 watts. Damn. That's a lot of power. So the, we have these devices. They are similar. They look like Toshiba's, they, but they are not Toshiba's. They're designed specially, specifically for linear audio apl apl amplifier applications. Sorry about my English is so bad. High speed for high bandwidth amplifier, high voltage rating, 200 volts, enhanced oscillation suppression, multi-device applications. So we have the, the information here and all that. So these are the actual uh, devices, the correct device. And you can see it has the leads, one, two, and three. And you can read the information down here. It says number one is gate, number two is source, and number three is drain. So that's why I made I made the PCB specify especially for those devices. And you can see uh, on this uh, layout, uh, I'm feeding the drain with this rail, so it will need a, a bigger rail so it can feed nice amount of current. So nice, a big amount of current is gonna pass through all that those rails so yeah hey, one thing that I noticed on my on, on my web page is that for some reason the other day I have 539 subscribers and for some reason they some some guys unsubscribe I don't know why maybe it's a mistake from the from the website from the you know YouTube page I don't know why a anyway this it doesn't matter because uh, I only have 500 something view, uh, uh, subscribe, sorry, but that subscribers. So anyway, I'm not getting paid for this. So I just making videos because because I do like this what I'm doing. So I really don't. I don't get paid for this anyway. So I just have 500 something subscribers. So I just like what I do. So all right, guys, have a good day. I will uh, upload this video. Just 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 wanted to make sure that you guys understand that. Uh, so if you are to to build this amplifier, you please please. Uh, do research, research, sir, uh, uh, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, it's gonna be a little expensive because because those lateral uh, MOSFET they are kind of expensive. Uh, well, I have no, another thing to do today. I'm going to spend some time on this uh, other simulation that I found on the book, and uh, it's uh, really interesting. It's on page 360A. So this is more uh, designed for the a BGT uh, audio amplification so I will make this uh, simulation to see the results he says the a high performance amplifier design utilizing a mirror image topology and push-pull VA stage intent intended for domestic hi-fi maximum output equals 137 watt RMS at 0.00 two nine percent THD that's pretty good so I will I will see if uh, simulation responds well and I probably uh, will make a PCB for this design uh, this one might be a lot easier to share because I don't think many people will build the the I must I call it I MOSFET but anyway so all right uh, that's it guys I uh, have a good day uh, I will continue uh, you know entertaining myself with this uh, electronic stuff all right guys have a good day